Today's program is really all about you, our employees, and the work that you do every day to make this a wonderful community for our residents. This is also an opportunity for us to gather together as a staff community and maybe meet some people that you have exchanged emails with, have talked to on the phone, but maybe have, have not met. So I know you tend to sit at tables with your departments, but make sure you get up and go mingle with some of the other folks and find out a little bit about what they're doing and you never know who you might meet. We're, it's a, we are a relatively small group as a, as a city, but we are spread out all over the city. So that's why we try to bring everybody together. Next, I want to thank all of you that put somebody up for an award today. You took the time and effort to recommend a coworker, many times not even from your own department, for going above and beyond in their jobs. That's a real testament to how proud we are of each other in the city and how well we work together. And that's what we're here to, to recognize those, those employees that you've nominated today. We have judges that were selected from those who were nominated last year. And so if you were a judge this year, can you please stand up? Um, I've got some names. I'm going to call you out. Andrea Madden, Matt Arciera, uh, Kim Weiland, and Anita Brown. Give them a hand for for being recognized last year and then for being willing to do help with the judging this year. I know that was not an easy task for them with so many nominees. So let's get down to the awards and the award winners. I would also say that uh, from my perspective, I think it's just it's an honor to be nominated by your peers. That's just, just being nominated is, is, uh, is again, a great testament to the work that you're doing and the fact that people see you and are recognizing what you're doing. It means that they know you're doing right, even when you're maybe not looking. Yeah. We have 32 individuals who are living the city vision and values and some are nominated even more than once. I'm gonna call the names out of a, a variety of folks to have you come up and be recognized for being nominated for this award. Latanya Bell Buckholter. Donna Bellas. Sheila Pope. Christy Raphael. These, both of these uh, individuals are being uh, honored with the City Beat Award. This award is for those who really feel the internal hum of the city and make it their own. Melissa Heiderman is one of the important people in fire services. Along with her administrative tasks, she helps to plan the teen summer camp and helps with many other tasks outside of her normal role. As Fire Chief Rob Clemens says, she is a glue that holds the department and the Fire and Rescue Committee together. And now for our final awards the Above and Beyond Awards. This award goes to the folks who not only do their jobs, but go the extra mile for staff and residents alike. Our first award goes to Master Tech, Kevin Schaefer. Come on up, Kevin. When Kevin heard that there was an Osborne High School freshman facing the fight of his life with a surgery that he might not live through, he went into action. Kevin made Jamie's dreams come true. Jamie had always wanted to go high. Kevin arranged a ride up on the bucket truck, and that's not all. <laughs> he arranged with Air Care One to take Jamie up for a ride. As his mom watched, tears of joy streamed down her face, knowing that Jamie had always wanted to be written up for a referral. Kevin worked with the principal to create a giant referral for Jamie for being absent when he was on the Air Care ride. I'm told that he wanted to be in trouble, I guess. I, guess I, I didn't, I didn't so know. He had never been written up, so we wrote, wrote him up. They wrote him up. <laughs> so, right, wrote him up and wrote him up. That's right. <laughs> Play on words, that's those newscaster guys do that. <laughs> but Kevin didn't stop there. He also arranged for Jamie to be on the sidelines at a football practice with a couple of Redskin players. At the end of the practice, they ran Jamie down the field in his wheelchair for a touchdown. And now our last award of the day goes to Margaret Montgomery. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Margaret actually received two separate nominations from different staff because of her can-do spirit. Margaret doesn't just think outside the box. She box. She doesn't know what the box is. Although I've, her office has got a lot of boxes in it. I don't know. It's got all these. She, this GPS. I mean, uh, GIS. She doesn't just think. Um, she has created apps for parking districts, trail maps, art maps, trash and recycling map, a parcel finder, and an assessment finder. And if you haven't seen any all of those, go on our website because they're easy to use and great, great assets for the whole community. 
She's helped the Commissioner of Revenue's office work through some major database changes patiently and quickly. As one person commented, Margaret has helped me greatly. She is a great teacher and really takes the time needed to explain things.